Well, we're really in the thick of things now, aren't we? Welcome back to the channel. We have One Piece episodes 463 and 464 today. The war has begun. People are clashing. Luffy is still trying to get to Marine Ford, and Mihawk has just launched a fat attack at Whitebeard's ship. I'm guessing as this continues, it's going to be like more players, like bigger players step in slowly, because right now it's mostly just like foot soldiers. Drop a bad like if you are hyped for this war to see how all of this goes down, and let's hop into it. <laughs> Look at him just staring in the face. I feel like Whitebeard will just repel it. I don't know. It seems like he has the power to. Look at him. He still has a smile. Oh, shoot. Who is this? Is Whitebeard's crew just full of Giga Chads? I mean, to take, a, uh, take an attack from Mihawk by yourself. That's why he just stood there. He was like, yeah, someone else will take care of it. <laughs> oh, Mihawk said he just wanted to check the distance. Who is this? Wait, like half of him is like a, a texture. Is he like metal? Oh, he's got a name for himself. Diamond Jozu. He's made of diamond. Ugh. That is actually sick. You can't cut through that, man. My goodness. So yeah, he is part of Whitebeard's crew. Holy. Dude, it's just them kind of flexing on the Navy. They're like, hey, you ain't nothing, baby. Like I said, though, bigger and bigger players are going to slowly step in. They're all just fighting for his sake. Oh my god, all the other ships. I even, I low-key forgot all these other crews coming to help. And it, the, the ore ships that still hasn't even been explained. God, some of the dudes on, on uh, Whitebeard's crew are just enormous. Oh no. Oh no. Kizuru, please! I missed his voice. Look at just the battlefield. Yeah, defeat Whitebeard, true. But that is not an easy task. He's gonna go try. Just disappears! Still even don't, don't even know what this last admiral is capable of. Oh my gosh. Is this just appearing right in front of him? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Oh, Whitebeard's done. No one is summoned in for him this time. Oh, never mind me. He has a crew member that can fly. But it looked like he just took all that damage, though. Like, Whitebeard, you need to start making moves, baby. Don't let your men take all the hits. I'm guessing it's another, uh, like, uh, a division leader. Wait. Are his wings blue flames? The king. It's like a game of chess. Dude. Oh, <laughs> his face. <laughs> Is he Logia? Like it's made of flames kind of? But like blue flames? Oh, rarer. Zoan mythical creature. Oh. And it healed him, too. What kind of mythical creature is he? Like, just the fact that he can fly? God, Kizaru's design is so good. Oh, yeah, he has, like, talons, like a bird. Oh, he's a phoenix! First division commander. Oh, he seems busted, too. Marco the Phoenix. God dang. Oh my God. Whitebeard's crew is so stacked. And it just goes right through him. It's literally better than Logia. Boom. Does he mean that? They seem kind of even. I won't lie. Wait. Wait, did he send him flying? I thought he was like, I thought he was kind of like backing up a bit. No shot. No shot. Marco's, Marco is a monster. Oh, he's back. Dude, Whitebeard's crew just, oh man, they're living up to the hype. Giant unit. Oh my gosh. I wonder if any are from Elbaf originally. I think back to the two from Ennis Lobby who were like tricked into being in the Navy, basically. The Giants will prove really troublesome though. I would say each one is the equivalent of like hundreds of men, if not more. So he can take the diamonds on and off. It like, it, it, it uh, I guess, rescinds and whatnot on his body. What else is he cracking? 
Wait, why? He's going to throw it! Oh my gosh. This guy is a beast. Uh, somebody's gonna step in. He's plunging it over the giants. Well, who who wants the ball in here? I like how we're just throwing shots back and forth. Is the last admiral gonna step in? Dude has like a whole a Hawaiian type shirt on. I mean, finally, what's his name? A kind of? Maybe we'll finally get to see what he does. My goodness. Like I said, Aokiji and Kizaru had these, these insane entrances, and this guy has just kind of kept him off to the side. Oh, I think it's setting it up for him. It hasn't even shown his eyes until now. So he's going to have like a Sharingan or something. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Why does his voice sound familiar? I mean... Oh? Oh? Is it like lava? Like magma? Wait, is that his fist? Oh my god! But he threw like a third gear size fist of lava? I knew it'd be like something like red themed because Aokiji's and Kizaru's is blue and yellow. Oh my gosh! Is that all his fist or is it just like he creates like lava or magma? I don't even know the difference between lava and magma. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, that's insane. Don't tell me it explodes. Oh no, it just rains down in fiery meteors. Okay, well, now we know how all three admirals work and they're all absolute menaces in their own way. Oh, dang, dude. Like I said, more big players stepping in. Oh my God, it's going right for Mo not just Moby Dick, but all the others. No! Why is Webbeard standing there, bro? Just start like laying into people. Get in there, baby. Oh, back to Sabaody. Seen the destruction. <laughs> nah, for real. One right for him. Nah, nobody's stepping in for this one. Oh wait, he actually looks kind of worried. Never mind. Dude, that looks so badass. He's like, he's like a marshmallow. Oh my gosh. Dude, the admirals are so cool. Magma score. Spit, Whitebeard. Spit, baby. Dude. Just such powerful characters all in one place. It's nuts. I'm shocked that it hasn't taken more damage thus far. Dude, it's so cool. Marcos is just insane. But the swordsman, yeah. It's like Violet Duet or something his name is. Oh, Duet because two blades makes sense. He's like a Violet themed. A flaming sword! That guy looks like an onion, kind of. What the fuck is that? What did he pull that out of? What, he's like riding Shogun pulling a blade out of his chest. Oh my God. Oh, whose legs are shit? Oh, is it Kobe? Oh, dude. I think it is. Yeah, it's real. Being a uh, Marine ain't no fantasy anymore. Even how Meppo. It's a reality check for sure. It takes a lot to admit that. Because we know how ego Helmepo used to be. But you could also say he's just being, like, scared. An admiral? I, dude, I don't know. I hate to dunk on my boy Kobe, but admirals are far ways away. Knowing now what we know, I used to be like, yeah, Kobe, go for it. But, whew, you're going to need a double for it at the very least. Dude, and Luffy's not even here yet. The ship. Is that a giant? No goddamn way! It looks like Ors! Is it like a relative? Because the real Ors cannot be alive. If that's actually Ors himself, then I'm very confused. I thought Ors was like the last of his kind though or something. Maybe not. I'd recognize those horns anywhere, baby. Dog, I forgot how enormous Ors was. So the ship wasn't even a lie. It's actually Ors. Or like a version of him. Or like I said, like a relative. Oh, it's probably like his brother or something, man. That is insane. How are people telling me the skip thrower barks? Shame on you. He knows Ace. Little Ors Jr. No way. 
Oh my gosh. A descendant of the continent poor. Little orange deer. Oh, he's way bigger than giants. I said, who's going to deal with the giants? Okay, Gecko Moria. <laughs> Me either. More speaking lines for Gecko Moria. I'm all for it. Dude, oh my god, the warlords are so good. How does he know Ace? Oh my gosh. I, oh, I guess because he's allied with Whitebeard's crew. This war is just turn after twist after turn. This is amazing. We find out finally what Akainu's power does, which is sick. And I love how, like I said, it, it coordinates with their, their colors that they wear. But not even that, we get a, a big fat reveal that Or's, a, a, I guess Or's son is here. And having known what went down in Thor Bark and how powerful and hard to take down Or's was, we know what's coming. Episode 4, CC4, let's go. He's got just a giant blade too, man. He is here for Ace. All right, which lord, warlord is next? Is Gekko Moria going to do anything? <laughs> I miss this dude so much for no reason. I miss the straw hat so much too, to be honest. <laughs> Surely you can take on the new world now, Gekko Moria. But only if he gets his hands on another oars. Oh, a giant stepping up to the plate. I got to give you respect. Oh, they're all going out after him. Oh my gosh. Oh no, they're just joining the fight in general. God dang, dude. Yeah, they're all going for oars. Oh my God. The giant footsteps. Bro, I think he's the same size that oars was. He's his son, but he must be, yeah. It looks like the same size. He's just gonna pick up a ship. Dude, and if this is one, like one, I guess, person from Whitebeard's Alliance, who else is coming? Yeah, true. Oars don't care, bro. He's gonna crack the ice. Oh my gosh! They all just died. They do not survive that fall. Oh yeah, 100%. Rest in peace, 07. Oh! Oh my god! This shit is so crazy, man. Oh, we got, we're getting our first diagram of the war. Very nice. There's always one in every arc, I swear. I do appreciate them. So much death. God, how many people are gonna die throughout all of this? Colby is freaking out, my poor boy. It's too real now. He had to see this eventually though. No! Oh, my boy. He's gonna tell him to leave. Slayer of a thousand men. I guess when he says he wants to be an admiral, it could be vice or like he said, rear admiral. It doesn't have to be like on Aokiji's level, basically. Come up, I was like, listen, Kobe, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Dude, who's actually has like the ability to take down ores? I guess the, the admirals, because they have so much raw power. No one can match his size for sure. Oh my god, he doesn't stand a chance. The strength. Oh, you're dead, brother. Dude, none of the giants can even stand up to him. That's crazy. It makes sense. LaCroix. Like the drink? It'll never change. <laughs> I got everybody calls Whitebeard Pops. Oh, no. He is a huge target, though. Go! Back up, horse! Oh, he's even got the hops, too. Oh. Dude, yeah, none of the giants can even stand it. It has to be one of the admirals that takes ores down. No one. Oh, I guess one of the warlords, too, possibly could. The warlords and the admirals are going to be the hardest to get through here. Oh, you, uh, you don't want the smoke against her. I'm sorry. It's brave, but. Slave arrow. Oh. They're all stone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, if Bolo really wanted to try, she could do so much here. Oh no, she's trying. Boa, listen. Don't do this. Boa, no. Oh wait, yeah, she just hit a Navy man. Okay. <laughs> she's hitting everybody. Oh my God. 
she said literally just stay away from me she's so fine <laughs> yeah what are you gonna do what are you gonna do except for luffy i knew she was going for that except for luffy <laughs> he's like oh okay that's fine oh wars is getting really close man oh someone's gonna take him down no way is it gonna go moria oh oh no Oh no, Kuma's just gonna hyper beam him, man. Oh no! Kuma, that is a bomb! Dog, I th there's like a part of me that thought Kuma was like on our side too, because of everything that's gone on with him. Oh man. Oh, Orz is dead. Orz is so dead. The amount of power in that. He can't throw a nuke though, because there's too many Navy men. Kuma! I can't watch! Oh, he's just dead instantly. There's no way. He did do yeah! It's hitting everybody! Oh my gosh! I love how the warlords love this. I mean, I guess this up for Miyok and Moa. They're just into it. Just the destruction, the chaos. No way is he standing. No goddamn way. No way. He's alive. No way. Leave. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he made him the hat he's still going No shot! No way! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? How does Dovamingo even work, bro? He's just flying! He liked the hat so much. <laughs> oh my god! No shot! How? Did he just take his entire leg? Or his whole foot? Oh my gosh, he's so close to him too. Oh my gosh. He can't do anything. Oh, how did they introduce him last episode, man? That was so sad. Just every single shot of him sitting outside, not caring what the weather was like because of the hat Ace made him. Oh my gosh. And he, he got so close to him, but it's still so insanely far because there's so many warlords and everything in the way that it didn't even matter. And Ace knew that, but Oris didn't. And I'm sure Whitebeard's over there, like standing there. He's just like, I couldn't have stopped him even if I wanted to. He just cared about Ace that much. But all these people do. That's why they're fighting to give their lives. He's one of them. And how fitting is it that Gecko Moria is the one to land the, the killing blow on Oris Jr.? But dude, Doflamingo's powers. We know that he has the ability to like control people 
people to a certain extent and like make them do actions that he wants them to do but he just like just cut off or's leg in like one foul swoop and then just flew away like there's much more to him than uh, than we are yet to understand but guys that's been it for episodes 463 and 464 of our one piece watch through i imagine it's just gonna get harder and harder from here because that was rough man and it must be even worse in in terms of like ace's point of view that these people are dying to try to just get to him and save him if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace